extra tip to do with editing topics. And this is a really useful one, which means you won't need to just stick to the standard circles that you can see on the screen right now. I'm going to show you how to edit those uh, and add imagery to them. So I've just gone back to my desktop here and I just wanted to very quickly show you another image that I downloaded from Google earlier on today. And this is not a JPEG file, it's actually a PNG file, which means that it should have a transparent background. Now what that means for me in my Prezi design is that if I go back to my overview and just click on the About Us section. I'm going to change the name of that one as we go through, but I just want to add an image to it instead of a circle. So with it selected, I'm going to click this little button up here at the top, which is Topic Cover Settings. And as a default, you will always have the automatic settings switched on, which is essentially the circles that you can see right now. It is possible though to change that to custom and then press the edit cover content button. So all that does is kind of unlocks that topic so that you can change the color of the circles, get rid of the circles if you want to, and of course add imagery. So what I'm gonna do now is go to the image button, which we'll cover in a lot more detail in just a second, but I'm gonna to go to the image button, click on that, find the PNG file that I just showed you and press open. And there you can see it's loading in the background. Whilst it's loading, you can still edit that. So I'm gonna make it much bigger. I'll put it just above the text. And what I'm then going to do is move the text down towards the bottom of the circle. Let's move that image down as well. There we go. And I could stick with that view if I wanted to. That actually looks quite nice. It's very obvious that that is an area of our presentation we can go to. But if I want to edit this much more, I can change the color of the circle as well to fit more with the background image. So I've just clicked on the circle and at the top here you can see I've now got some color options available. I'm gonna change this from being a solid color to a gradient and I'm going to leave it as white but at the very bottom I'm going to change my opacity to about 25%. Let's just change it to that and see how it looks. If we click back here, I quite like that look. I think that works really, really nicely with the background. And if I do that for all of the other topics, I think we'll have a really nice looking presentation.